Michael kb 9 VBR, the host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, and today we're going to take a look at the Bouge RV 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller. Now recently I reviewed the Bouge RV 200 watt uh, solar panel. This panel is currently uh, connect, uh, installed on my teardrop camping tra trailer and is working wonderfully. Uh, when they sent me the panel, they also sent me this uh, 40 amp uh, MPPT charge controller uh, for, a, for a review. Uh, now this controller is a little bit big to put into my camping trailer, uh, but I've been using it uh, to charge my uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries for my portable ham radio operations. So I've got, really got a, a good feeling on how this controller works. So let's take a look at this charge controller. Now in full disclosure, uh, this controller was provided to me by Bouge RV in exchange for a video review about my opinions on my own and um, there's without any outside influence. Now this is charge controller is an MPPT charge controller. That stands for maximum power point tracking. Charge controllers usually come in two varieties, a PWM or pulse width modulated and MPPT. A PWM controllers uh, use sort of a, uh, a voltage switching process to, uh, to convert the uh, panel's output voltage down to a charging, uh, charging voltage uh, for the batteries. Uh, PWM controllers work well for smaller solar systems, single panel systems, 12 volt battery systems, and like they're a very, you know, it's, it's just a very simple uh, charge controller that works well with uh, smaller uh, solar systems. MPPT controllers use a process called DC to DC conversion to convert the panel voltage down to the battery voltage. Uh, they tend to be more efficient than uh, PWM and will work with a multitude of um, panels wired in say series or parallel or any combinations. Uh, plus uh, they also, uh, MPPT controllers uh, will work with uh, different battery voltages. Uh, so you can use them with a 12 volt, 24, 36 volt system, etc. So digging into the specs of the Bouge RV uh, 40 amp MPPT charge controller. Externally, the controller is 8.6 by 5.9 by approximately 2.6 inches deep. Uh, weighs about, feels like about three pounds. The controller is of an aluminum construction with uh, cooling fins in the back. It's got a tempered glass uh, front panel, so it's uh, solid aluminum construction. I think it was just probably gonna be good for, um, a, a give, provide good resistance to RF radiation or, or hash on the uh, radio frequency hash. The operating temperature of this uh, charge controller is minus 31 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. The controller does come with a temperature sensing probe that you can adjust to so that the controller will run uh, within a pre predetermined temperature range. That can be important if you're say using LiFePo batteries and you don't want this to charge below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the controller will work with uh, anywhere between a 12 to 48 volt uh, battery system. Uh, when you connect the controller to the batteries and you always connect batteries to the charge controller first, uh, it will automatically sense the voltage of your battery system and make that adjustment internally. As for the panel voltages, uh, the controller will accept uh, up to 150 volts um, panel voltage or um, 600 watts for a 12 volt system, uh, 1200 watts for a 24 volt system. Uh, that gives you a lot of flexibility in the, um, in the amounts and the number of panels you wanna use. Say you could, you could say hook up three 200 watt panels in a series configuration uh, to max out the wattage of this, of this charge controller. Or you could use uh, a series parallel configuration in order to you know, hit, those, hit those voltage maximums. Power connectors are hidden behind this um, little plate right here. Uh, there's uh, some screw terminals so that for um, both your power leads and your uh, battery leads, uh, there's uh, also a connector here for say an external um, uh, display. Uh, I don't know of any display though that operates with this controller so that just might be an unused feature for this particular product. Uh, the charge controller is um, controlled by an app that you'll download uh, from the uh, App Store, either you know, for your iPhone or Android or other mobile device. 
The instruction manual, which is uh, very uh, complete and thorough, has some QR codes that you can scan and it'll take you right to the app for easy downloading or you can search for the app you know, within your appropriate app stores. Uh, while most of the functions of the controller can be done without the app, you know, there is a little display on the front panel that'll tell you, say, the charging voltage and uh, the amperage and also indicator lights that it's receiving a solar power and battery and a fault light if there's an error. Uh, anything beyond that's going to be uh, controlled with the app itself. So you are going to need to download the app because after you, after you connect the battery, uh, you're going to need to go into the app and to and set the battery type for this uh, charge controller. Uh, this charge controller will handle um, lead, flooded lead acid, AGM, uh, LIFEPO, you know, most, most of the uh, currently used uh, battery chemistries uh, these days for a uh, solar system. So the big question is, is how does it work? And, and it really quite well. Uh, after hooking it up and uh, using the app to set the battery type, um, it only took a few seconds for this uh, charge controller to analyze uh, the uh, output of the panel and find that maximum uh, power point for charging the battery. Uh, if I uh, shaded the panel, it would readjust to, uh, once again to find that, uh, find that power point voltage so it could even you know, continue to charge the, the battery on a wide variety of solar conditions. It wasn't the fastest in um, power point tracking. I've seen some other controllers that can do it faster, but um, really good enough. Um, you know, it might take one or two seconds for it to reanalyze uh, depending upon uh, your changing solar conditions. But you know, really the sun doesn't change that often that it needs, it needs to do those, those rapid changes. Now one concern I have with MPPT charge controllers is the amount of RF hash or radiation that they produce. Um, MPPT controllers can uh, generate hash you know, because of that DC to DC conversion process. Uh, so what I did was uh, set the controller up and then while it was operating underneath my antenna system, I checked uh, for any hash on the 20 and the 40 meter amateur radio bands. I did not hear any percep uh, perceptible hash as I turned the controller on and off, uh, but if you're direct, say if your transceiver is directly connected to the same battery that this is charging, you may get some hash. It depends upon how you know on, on your, your solar setup. So just be aware of that. Uh, you might need to do some additional filtering, filtering if you're trying to draw power uh, from a battery that it is still charging. I found a lot of good things about this uh, that, I, that I liked about this charge controller. You know, it's power, powerful, it's expandable, it's customizable, it has good heat dissipation, looks really nice, um, and the app itself provides a wealth of features in using it. Um, which only brings me to, I think its biggest downside is that you have to rely on an app in order to uh, a, adjust any of the functions of the of the charge controller. Uh, historically, you know, apps can go out of production and uh, hopefully this one will stay updated as um, mobile device system, operating systems upgrade uh, so that we can con continue using this charge controller you know, long into the future. But other than that, I, I think it's really handy. You know, this is up for, like I said, adjusting this um, this controller, uh, say if you wanted to install this into your RV, you could um, put it in a real out of the way place and then you have the convenience of the app in order to make any of those just um, um, make any of those um, adjustments uh, to see how it's operating, look at the historical data without having to dig down into where the uh, charge controller is physically located. So uh, great choice for say um, uh, RV or motorhome, uh, van life, solar setups, you could, you could stick, you know, 1200 watts of solar on the roof of your RV, uh, run a 24 volt system and you'd have quite a, um, quite a nice uh, solar setup for, uh, for camping. Uh, but um, 
that's it. Uh, this is my uh, review of the Bouger V uh, 40 amp MPPT uh, charge controller. If you have any questions that you want to know about this, uh, leave them in the comments below and we'll kind of get through those. Uh, Bouger V was uh, kind enough to give us a discount code uh, for this charge controller. So be sure to find uh, details on that in the video description down below. But um, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.